good morning or afternoon or evening or middle of the night whenever you're watching this uh, but uh, today I want to talk a little bit about um, encouraging ourselves and not discouraging ourselves is actually even more important from you know my experience so I was at a conference just the past week uh, um, Archangel Giovanni Marcico um, great great conference uh, a lot of diverse diverse background of people business wise uh, 20 some different countries people come from for that um, and I got to talk to Jim quick the boy with the broken brain if any of you have seen or read or great stuff memory um, <clears throat> basis uh, brain strength etc etc uh, I got to talk to him it was so cool who gets to talk to this guy um, so me apparently um, one of the things he said is if you fight for your limitations guess what you get to keep them what that means is if you constantly talk about how bad you are at something or how crappy you feel or how crappy your day is or you know how your this sucks and that sucks and everything's gonna suck and everything's gonna be crappy and everything's gonna be bad and I'm preaching here from a position of somebody who does that all the time um, I'm better with it than I used to be but you know I even find with what I'm doing now I always said Oh, I'm horrible at sales. I don't like sales. I'm not a good salesperson. I'm not because you know when I deal with the table stuff and even with 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 patients, it's you know there's a sales process to it, and it's not. I don't like to call it sales because of the you know there's a connotation to that word that when I talk I'm talking about healthcare, I don't ever like to equate it to sales. But the way they define it, which is actually very much more accurate than my impression, is you have something that people can benefit from and if you can't make them understand that they can benefit from that they don't get the benefit of it so it's your job to make sure that people understand it properly and that they can benefit from what it is um, so and that is a sales process and so this also is relationships relationship building getting people to understand that you're not full of crap and that you actually care about their outcome and that you know I mean and this has been me from the beginning I've cared about people's outcomes so much that you know I, you know confession here I've almost driven my business part into the ground giving stuff away um, I've had to dial myself back on that in recent years because it just it isn't sustainable. It's very stressful for me. Uh, I was working like crazy to help people, which is, you know, uh, I love. I get something out of that too in here. But uh, at the end of the day, you got to keep the lights on too. So um, I really, you know, want to make sure that I help people. But there's a, you know, there's a balance to be struck. So getting back to the self-talk thing. Um, they say that you know these things with sales are relationships and I was saying I'm bad at sales but I'm great at relationships so what am I saying here um, I'm great at making people understand that I actually care and that I actually have a you know I have a vested interest in their success and in their you know uh, in their moving forward towards their goals whether that be relief of pain in the clinic situation whether it be you know career advancement for those who work for me um, giving them something that you know they can a future a future you know uh, 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 more interesting things to be able to do and you know I've spoken to my staff about you know this table company that I do I want to give them opportunities to do things other than just the clinic if they want to come out and help with you know educating the public or educating doctors and <clears throat> all this on the new techniques and the new devices and technology that we developed that could be a cool uh, career path that not many people get the chance to do because if you're working in a clinic that's that's your end you know uh, even as a you know chiropractor um, you know there's lots of things I could do in my practice but there's you know the device end of things opens up a whole exciting new world for me because I can help millions of people with what I do through the doctors that work with me so um, you know and to come back if I had continued on the negative self-talk stuff that I early in my career why isn't this working why is this so hard why 
if I'd continued on that path, I don't know where I would have gone. Probably not very far. So, where this goes is, I'm reading this book also on grit. Perseverance talks about mental toughness. It talks about situational toughness, um, mental strength. Grit is the definition of grit. Grit is perseverance. So, even though it's hard, even though it might be difficult today, even though you might want to quit, and even though you might, you know, think it'll be easier to do that, um, keep plugging away. Because there's people counting on you to do that, and your own future counts on you to do that. Your own future depends on you having the grit, perseverance to keep going. And maybe not, you know, 150% every day. Sometimes you gotta take a rest. Sometimes you gotta listen to your mind and your body and take breaks here and there. But to just take the next step forward, I've said this before, just take the next right step forward, that's grit. That's perseverance. So if you think you're not strong, you're not tough, you're not resilient, then take a back, look back at all the things you've come through and realize that, you know what, you made it through every day so far, so why is this day any different? Why is, you know, and if you look back at, you know, where you were, comparing it to where you are now, um, you'd probably be you probably recognize your progress. So keep that progress up. Instead of saying I'm not strong or I'm not gritty, I'm not resilient, say I am resilient. Even if you don't believe it, keep saying it. Keep repeating it. Um, in the morning when I wake up, I have don't worry, be happy as my alarm tone. That's that for that reason for the reason the reason for that is um, then I say don't worry, be happy. It rings through my head for the first five to ten minutes I'm awake. That means hopefully I'll be more happy and I won't worry. Mental repetition. Brain's a very powerful thing. Use it positively, don't use it negatively. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you. And uh, talk to you again soon.